I'm so incredibly happy because I've been waiting for this for over a year and I've been dreaming about it for significantly longer. So today, at long, long, god, long last, my DK2 was delivered approximately five minutes ago. And it's time to do some unboxing. Good lord, I don't know if this is going to go on YouTube by the way, but it might. It might well. Ugh! This is the Oculus box. I wonder if there's any personal information that I'm giving away by showing the label. Only my real name, my full name, my full address. Probably shouldn't show that on camera. Um, Oculus VR Inc. California, USA. Three kilograms. Ship to Harvey. Mm -hmm. With my phone number. Luckily my phone number not in full on there. Uh, Great Britain, UPS standard. Reference numbers. Item number DK2 V1 BDL. Serial number 2.28 kilograms is the estimate's weight. Made in China. Dimensions. Ah, it's just the box, isn't it? Or is that actually the thing? No, oh, whatever. We might as well just get opening it, I suppose. And I've got the chat up so I can see the chat, albeit only slightly because I'm looking over this big box. Um. But those of you who haven't seen my face before, by the way, hi, I have a face. I'm going to need a face to wear the Oculus Rift, so it's a good thing that I do have one. Should we get opening? I'm bad at boxes, by the way. I am terrible at boxes. Okay, I can see a seam there. I can also see a seam there. I'm going to put it this way up and hope that the personal information isn't shown. And you can see like that. So, also I've got a mouse and headphones on my desk. That's the problem, I don't know... You're supposed to have, you're supposed to be about five feet away when you use this, so I don't know how convenient this is going to be with my setup, but we will see. Uh, right, I'm going to just cut all the duct tape that I see. Really hope this isn't... this is the right thing to do. I'm bad at boxes, I've already established this fact, I'm just bad at boxes if such a thing is possible. So basically I'm going to just cut down all the seams and hope that it is the right thing. I say cut, slice would be more appropriate term. Okay, that is one side. That is the other side nearly. Other side down and turn the scissors. And the other side up. Now I've just got to do across the top. Go on, solid tape. I am your master. Fantastic. Okay, I have hurt the box a little. But it is a box, it does not have feelings, and as such I don't really mind. Does someone think they've missed the KPE2? This isn't the KPE2, this is the Oculus Rift. This is an unboxing video, okay? Right. That is a useless piece of plastic. This is the real box. Ah, it's got the DKT logo! Beautiful. V E A U T F L. There it is, the Oculus Rift DK2 Development Kit box. I'm so happy. I'm so incredibly happy right now. Ecstatic, one might say. Rai Rai 1010 and Blackie have got the same psyche. That is actually quite creepy. Uh, okay, let's open this, shall we? So, I can see a sticker. Sticker gets boxed in the same manner that the original box got boxed. And I assume this folds out like this. Uh, ha ha ha. Ha ha ha! Oh, I've got a DK2! Woo! You have no idea how happy I am. And this foam seems to be stuck. Okay, that's alright. So this is actually quite a nice carrier... I shouldn't damage this. This is a nice carrier box. Hmm. Okay, so... Main event, of course. The Oculus Rift DK2. In its beautiful packaging. Development Kit 2. Look at that. Okay, let's take it out of the packaging. Uh, 
Ah, big labels or big wires and such things. Don't need this. This is just protective plastic. Get out of my way. And here we go. Here are the important bits. The leads. Two USB leads. No, actually one is HDMI, I believe. Um, I think that's HDMI. Yes, it is. And the other is USB. Alright, there you go. And... I wonder how the stream quality is. How is the stream quality, by the way, people? Let me know. Cars outside! This is not the time to be interrupting my stream. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Here are the boxes. And we can take off all this packaging. In fact, this lab I think these come off, don't they? Yeah, because I need to check that. I've done some, some setup reading, of course. Well, I've been researching the whole Oculus topic for over a year. So I'm pretty well informed. Um, but I've never actually watched the full unboxing video, so... I'm pretty much making it up as I go along. Not that unboxing is really a, uh, a, a difficult task for most people. Me, with my silly airhead academic nature, find it incredibly difficult. Just like getting this off as... Come on. Come on, USB and HDMI leads. Get out of the plastic packaging. I could have just sliced this in half and got rid of it. Um, but you never know. There might be something wrong with the Oculus. I might have to send it back. Which will, I would probably just cry if that is the case. There we go, nice little leads. And of course, the main event. The Oculus Rift DK2 in all its glory. Ah, well, let's pan you back up. Hello, how are you, my beautiful audience? I'm doing fine, thank you very much. Why am I replying to myself? Who knows? The Oculus Rift DK2 has got some roam padding to protect the uh, caps that are inside it. Automatically, we can take off some of the sealants that is protecting those caps. And I'll let you have a look inside momentarily. Look at those lenses. Look at those beautiful lenses. You can't, because I'm looking at them. Because this is my DK2. There we go. There they are. That's what's going to be on my eyes for the next two weeks. Those, these, I assume these are the A lenses by default. The A cups. A strength. A whatever. Uh, and I believe that the A is for people who don't need eye correction, which is me. I have pretty much perfect vision as far as everyday use goes, so I don't imagine I'll need these. Does it not say on them? These should be the B cups, I imagine. Uh, anyone in the chat got a DK2? Who knows? I'm sure they do. I, I imagine by default that the ones which you don't need glasses for are in the DK2, so I shouldn't need to take these out until my brother uh, has a go with this. So I have a sibling and he has glasses. His eyesight is terrible. Unfortunately, glasses can scratch the lenses. But then again, they're going to be the B lenses, which I'm not going to use, so that's fine. Uh, let's have a look. What is this box? Ah, power lead, I think. Perhaps. It's got a nice little eyes. It's weird. Um, we might as well open this right now. How is the audio quality? How's the video quality? Is it all okay? Should be. Okay, there we go. One, a power converter. I will need, probably need to get a USB to UK adapter, won't I? Ooh, I should have one. Oh, I think it ships below the adapters, aka this box. Yeah, I think it does. I did see some of an unboxing video, so... I have the faintest of ideas. There we go. We've got uh, um, HDMI to DVI, that looks like. We've got... What the hell is that? There we go. There's the UK port. That's the one we're going to be using. And by default, it is with a US, I imagine. There it is. Yeah, a US. US and UK. These are the two that we need. Uh, this is European, or was that European? Can't quite tell. There we go. I might use this. I don't know whether I use HDMI or DVI. Um, 
probably changed tonight. I think it's VGA. I thought the, the specs said it was VGA. Oh, well. It doesn't really matter. We're missing the, the main, main excitement, aren't we? Okay, I've got my cups. I've got my power leads. And that weird thing, which I couldn't... Oh, is that... That is a really weird power adapter. Whatever. There we go. That's a lot of stuff out of the box. Uh, we have the positional tracking camera, of course, uh, which I probably should take a bit more care taking out. This is a USB to micro USB. Do I need that? I assume so, if it's in the box. And this is the audio jack, but I seem to remember that's actually not for audio information because the Oculus does not come with its own headphones. I will be using these, probably, or perhaps these wireless ones. Wireless might be better for Oculus, but then again, it's already got a wire. I can just run down my headphone wire down the same thing, and it should not really uh, make it any worse. There we go. Be careful with those cups, Harvey. Be careful with those cups. There is pretty much nothing else in the box apart from this, the Development two Kit 2 Quick Start Guide which, of course, as a man, I will not be reading. And I will be reading it, I'm not an idiot. Uh, I've spent too much money on this and too much time and too much sleep waiting for this to not read it. This is a lens cloth. It's a nice little lens cloth, look at that, fantastic. Looks like we are down to the last item, which would be the positional tracking camera. In this cute little plastic bag, like everything else, it looks pretty much just like a webcam. Uh, and if I had a mirror, I would show you the webcam I'm using to record this, but this does not track visual information, it tracks infrared information. And as such, I can't just use it as a webcam, so I'm going to have to put it, like, next to my one, or perhaps on top, or something, I don't really know. I will figure it out as I go along. The problem is, the, the optimal distance to be away from this is about 5 meters. Oh, five, five meters? <laughs> about 5 feet, I think. And I don't work in feet, because I am UK. Uh, but if I were to balance that, that is stupid. I'm not going to balance it there. If it was where my webcam is currently, where you are right now, I would probably have to be, I don't know, maybe here to get the optimal range. Keyboard is over there. I don't think I can reach that far. So I, I, I either need something like some sort of table here, I don't know, something to do my gaming on here, or use a controller. And a controller is probably the better option anyway. So, there is the positional tracking camera, and now, I might as well try on the Rift, I suppose. I probably ought to try it on. And then we're going to boot up and do the configuration. I need to install the firmware first, which I have found the tutorial on Road to VR's website for how to do. Um, but I am just going to wear it. I'm going to wear it, and not strangle myself with the cables, preferably. There we go. I'm still assuming these are the A-cups. I will find out shortly if they aren't. Uh, with the ski goggle thing. Oh, and of course, I'm supposed to pop out this thing and check whether these are connected, aren't I? They are connected, and they look like they're in solidly. There you go. Nice, nice and connected. Fantastic. I don't see anything wrong with that. Beautiful. Pop this back in. Now let's actually wear it. It's been too long. I never have tried the DK1, by the way. Uh, I'm not going to answer any thing in the chat because I'm too distracted with this. I've never tried the DK1, so this is my first experience of virtual reality. Never tried any sort of head-mounted display. Um, closest I've probably come is using my two monitors. <laughs> so you can imagine how big an experience this is going to be. Of course, I actually can't see anything outside. Or I can't see anything in the Rift because the Rift's not turned on or plugged in. Uh, First thing I know is that my ears are way too big for this. I probably just have to adjust the straps and things. Or the straps can go over. There you go. I'm going to be wearing. I'm going to be wearing my. Uh, what should we call it? My headset. So. I'm sure. I probably just need to do up the straps or something. There you go. It's pretty. It's not very heavy. You definitely notice it. Against the bridge of my nose because it's not on my face properly. But again, straps. But it's comfortable to wear, at least. The foam padding is nice. It does let in light from the outside. But again, straps. I need to do the straps probably, properly, I imagine. Um, 
I'm going to watch this video back and laugh at how that looked, no doubtably. Undoubtedly. Words. Words! English language. There is the, uh, the toggle on the side, the screw for adjusting the distance of the screen from the cups. Um, I guess the first thing to do is install the firmware. Uh, well, plug it in, and then install the firmware, because you can't really do that without plugging it in. Um, yeah, I don't think... Let's have a look at the manual. Should we have a look at the manual? That I threw over here. And let's also get rid of this box. Because this is a big box, and it is taking up all of my desk room. There we go. The Oculus Rift DK2 box. Uh, over. There you go. How to box. Danny, please make a video called How to Box. Thank you. There it is. Gone. Unnecessary. You stay over there. And do your own thing. And I will be over here with all my electronics, Mr. Box. Right, fantastic. So, the DK2, it's there on the bed. You can just see it there. Guide. Manual. Thing from Oculus. Should we have a look? This kit contains the following. Oh wait, hang on. Development kit 2 contents. Please remove the contents of the box carefully. Did I do it carefully? I wonder. If any part is missing or damaged, please contact customer support. Read the safety warnings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go. This kit contains the following. Headset with detachable cable, which we have got item A right here. This kit contains lenses of two sizes, A, which I assume are currently in the Rift, and B, which are thinner, actually. Um, indeed, they are. These are the B cups. So we have got our A, B lenses. Posi uh, posi positional tracker camera, which is right here. And we've got the positional tracker USB cable. It was not... That's the audio one. USB cable. There we go. This was it. It wasn't an adapter from... Well, it is an adapter from mini to full. Or from full to micro. Is that mini? It's mini. I think it's mini. This is the tracker. This is for the camera. So I'll put it next to the camera. We have got item A, B, C, D, E. Positional tracker sync cable. Oh, the audio. That's what it was. The one that looks like an, a 3.5mm audio jack is actually a sync cable for the positional tracker, so another cable for the tracker. A lot of cables for that. Uh, one DVI to HDMI adapter, which we saw earlier, it's somewhere over there. And the power adapter and four plugs, US attached, UK, AU and EU. Oh, so AU, Australia. Wait, hang on, this is... This is Australia. This is this thing... That is really weird. Oh well. Whatever. But there we go, we seem to have everything, unless there is another page. There is not another page of stuff. Instead, step one, install the Oculus Software Development Kit. But I'm not doing development yet, so I'm not going to bother with that. I have got the runtime environment, so I have the software, I believe, all the software that is necessary. Step two, set up the headset. Remove the cover on the front of the headset to make sure the cable is securely inserted into the ports on the front of the headset. Already done that. Please replace the door in front of the headset. Do not place stickers or anything else on the front of the headset that could obstruct LEDs, as this may impact performance. Of course I won't. I wouldn't do it to this anyway. Look at this beautiful black finish. Who would put stickers on it? A madman, I'm telling you, a madman. Harv's hair is actually very similar to mine. Thank you very much. Is that a compliment? I can't tell. I don't like my hair. Connect headset cable to computer. Here we go. Step three. Unwrap the cable that is attached to the headset. Already done that. The end of the headset cable has an HDMI connector and a USB connector. Plug both the HDMI connector and the USB connector into your computer. If it does not have an HDMI interface, but does have DVI, then use the include DVI. Uh, I believe my graphics card is the 280X, and it does have HDMI and the DVI. I'm using two D DVIs currently. I've got that before. Two DVIs currently. One monitor, two monitors. Um, I think it's time for me to dive down behind my PC which is down there, below this desk. Really hard to get to. I should probably take the covering off of this as well. There we go. Protective film, gone on the HDMI. And protective film on the USB, gone as well. 
Half-Life 2 was updated, as was Steam, to support the DK2 today. I wonder what game I'll be playing first. No, I won't be. I'll probably be playing Lava Inc. because it's nice and easy to run. Um, it's a roller coaster thing, so that's what we'll do. Recording seems to be okay. We've been going for 20 minutes so far. Nice. Okay. So I need to plug the HDMI into my PC, my graphics card. Uh, I just hope that it won't pull the rift off my bed. I will aim the webcam at the rift. Have a nice palm view. There you go. There we go. You can see that. Make sure to tell me if it falls off the bed, because if it does, and you don't tell me, I will come to your houses and murder every single one of you. Okay. Time to go under. This must be incredibly amusing footage for you to watch, and I'm glad it's entertaining you. If you would like to, uh... Carry on watching. Do. I don't know if you can hear me when I'm down here, but I found the PC. It's a big black box. I have now put the cable over the PC, and you can probably hear a lot of rattling. Next step is to locate the ports. Now, this is the tricky part. Uh, um, hang on. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to pull the PC out. How about that? Ah. It is hot down there. I'm going to pull the PC out. In fact, I'm going to pull the entire desk out a little bit. Please don't damage anything important. Ooh. Careful. Careful. Oh, it's rubbing on the side. There you go. Back, back, back. There we go. The desk has been... slid. I think that's okay. This monitor has been... pushed in a horrible way. Oh dear. This desk is on wheels, I might add, in case you were wondering how I was doing that. There we go. Uh, Alright, I'll fix the monitors later. I'm not going to need the monitors, I've got a rift. Okay. Second attempt. Crack the knuckles. You stay right there. And I'm once more going to delve into the realm of the back of my PC. Mirror's Edge does not support the DK2. Yet. I, maybe, I don't know. Whatever, we'll, we'll discuss software and games later. Okay, I'm back underneath the PC. That would be a really awkward position. I'm next to the PC, beside the PC. I've located ports. Is this HDMI? We will find out whether it fits. It is! I found the HDMI port. There's step one of two. Now I need a free USB port. Oh, fantastic, there's one right next to it. This couldn't be better. Well, it could be if it would go in. Is that not USB? I swear it looks like USB. It's got a USB connector symbol. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, I've actually got all my other USB ports on the back used. Oh, fantastic. Oh, no I haven't. There's this. There we go. Microphone will be in the front from now on, I'm afraid. DK2 insertion of the USB is nearly complete. Uh, it's not going in. 